Welcome back guys, so glad to have you with me. Today we're going to talk about speed of play. Let's do it. So speed of play, how is it that we can improve this? In order for me to get this concept through your head, I'm gonna give you a homework assignment. So what I want you to do is watch a game of soccer for 45 minutes. I want you to count how many seconds each player on one team, say Barcelona, have the ball for. So you're gonna write down the starting 11, Busquets, whoever else may be, not Messi anymore. Now you have Pedri, Sergio Roberto, Dest. You're gonna write down each of their names. Then you're gonna watch the game and every time they hold it or have the ball, you're gonna count how many seconds they have it for. So let's say Sergio Busquets gets the ball, you're gonna count one 1,000, two 1,000, then you're gonna write down the number two. You're gonna do that for all the players. Then you're gonna tell me which number is the most popular. Is it 10 seconds? Is it three seconds? Is it two seconds? That will help you understand what speed of play is. Another great idea, if you've ever played music or know anything about instruments, they use something called a metronome. The metronome allows for the beat to stay on course. It can really help you when you play music. If you were to play a metronome during a game of soccer, You'll notice there's a bit of a rhythm to the movement that the ball makes. It's kind of like, has the ball, let goes of the ball. Ball, pass the ball. Dribble, pass. There's not so much dribble, 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 pass. There's a bit of tempo, I like to call it. Can you find that tempo? I can explain it to you and tell you, hey, take less touches. Hey, work on your technical ability. Hey, play faster. But that's not gonna help you understand it. You need to really engulf yourself in what it means to improve your speed of play. And to do this, you're going to watch the game and find out that tempo. Then you're gonna to wanna to try and replicate that tempo at training. What can be helpful is say you're with a group of guys before training, can you play in a rondo in a really tight space? Or if you're practicing on your own, the tighter you can make everything, naturally the quicker your speed will get because of course you have to move the ball faster. So this is why a lot of coaches will have scrimmages in a tighter space because they don't wanna tell you to play faster, they want you to learn how to play faster. And playing in small spaces can be a big factor. Hope that helped. Please like, subscribe, and follow, although you're not going to be following, you'll just be subscribing. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.